we're on the next Ontario Experience trip. Guess what? This one's a drive to. We even get to bring our own boat. And on this trip, I brought a special guest. I talked him into it, and he said yes. I'm yes, sure I you guess. recognize this guy, my boss, Al Linder. <laughs> hey, we just crossed the border from International Falls into Fort Francis, Ontario. Gonna stop over, get some goodies we need for the days we're up here. I'm so pumped. This lake for me is a bucket list me lake. as well, yep. Dog Tooth Lake. Big walleyes, big smallmouth. It's awesome. It's been something that we've been talking about all season all long. Good. I can't wait to get going. This resort, Dogtooth Lake Resort, is located in the sunset country of Ontario. Let's get moving. I'm ready, man. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. We got here to Dogtooth Resort late yesterday afternoon, got settled in. Today, beautiful morning. The anticipation was, has been super high getting here, right? Now let's see if this lake can live up to its expectations. Yellow good already. fish right, that took what, three casts? <laughs> three casts. We yeah. did do some, that's a big eyeball, I can tell you that right away. Big fish. You, you can tell by the head shape. Yeah, oh yeah. Virtually, we looked what, I looked at three spots, pulled on this spot, seen a lot of bait, made three casts, boom. <laughs> I like when they. I like when they pull like Head that. back to the I bottom. I like when they do that. It feels to me like a 25 incher. <laughs> <laughs> this lake has uh, plenty of them in it from yeah, what I understand. Wow. wow. Nice one. Nice start to the nice nice start nice to the trip, Al. <laughs> All right. I thought she was bigger than she was. They just fought like crazy. Look how fat but they very, are. Very, very first fish. On three casts. I like the way that starts. It tells us something. Yeah, you know, we looked and looked and looked. Boy, that ain't they're nice looking fish, Ty. Look at that. Beautiful. Clean. They're eating they're eating. There's supposed to be some monsters here. We looked at two reefs, no, not much sign of anything. You know, we came on this one, seen a bunch of bait, marked some good sized fish. So we started right here. And it felt so good, <laughs> it felt so good. A wall though there. Big brownie. <laughs> Big brownie. Everything's on now, the wheel you got, rock. You got my attention here. <laughs> you got my attention here. Things got some. They were uh, talking about it, and I, I said I heard they got some some brown bass in there, some good ones. Not only some big walleyes, but some big brownies, huh? You're gonna have to net your own fish. <laughs> oh boy, she's a nice one. Ooh, that's a beauty. Yeah, real nice one. I think I can net it. Yeah, you're on your own. I'm trying to double up. Come here, girl. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. There we go, Al, huh? What about that one, huh? Well, she come flying out of there like a tank. Yeah. But there's some big ones in here, but that is a good start to smallmouth fishing. We're not even trying. Oh, popped it. I thought, I thought walleye. <laughs> I've had a couple of pike, and we'll take those bonus smallmouth all day long. That's a beautiful fish. Dog Tooth Lake has some big smallies too, huh? All right, get her back in. There we go. There we go, girl. Yes. There we go. Dog Tooth Lake. 
Dogtooth Lake Resort. Big smallmouths over on the walleyes. Got a few small pike and now brown bass. So they've got a little bit of everything and this lake is uh, known for big, again, big walleyes and big brownies. So Al and I are our first day. Anticip anticipation is still super high, but uh, you know we're just doing a little bit of search and uh, search and destroy. Find a, there's so many spots on this lake, so big it's got so many reefs and islands and points. So we're gonna go try another spot. This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. Do you want some sticks? I sure do. You know, one of the nice things about coming up to Ontario on these Ontario experiences is that shooting a moose and bear and whatever I get on these trips, when I come back on another trip, you get to take advantage of these, right? So I love them. Got a moose last year, had a process. These sticks are so, so good. And they're great snacks for the boat, as is evidenced by what uh, Al's been telling me. So. <laughs> Al's been nibbling on them a lot. They don't get, it's, it's all natural obviously, so when you come up here and you're, you're shooting uh, something you're eating every other every day after after you take this animal and, and take advantage of it, and it's a, it's a great snack when you're, you're out in the boat on another trip, so. Oh, oh yeah, here that, we go. that's it, Ty. Oh, nice walleye, nice walleye, nice walleye, okay, nice you walleye. Got, you got the net by you, Chief? Yeah, I got it here. I told I've seen he's, he's, uh, he's not ready to come up though. This is No, I know. He came to check you out. <laughs> nice to have good drags on these reels. That is for sure. Here she comes, here she comes. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Was that a jigging wrap? That is not a jigging wrap. She swallowed that paddle tail. Nice one. Dog nice tooth one. walleye, buddy. Dog tooth walleye. Al actually we came over this hump. Look at that, do you think they're eating? Man. Just absolutely swallowed that thing. Jigging a paddle tail. Al just came over that hump and he goes, I'm gonna check this, check this out. There's a couple of humps, a couple of marks right there. Threw it out and boom, right away. It was like two seconds. Look at that. Quite a healthy That's fish. you come up to dog tooth for, right? <laughs> that is a beautiful fish. She came up and saw the boat and went the other way. These are so fun to catch. Look at that girl. That is a dandy. Dogtooth walleyes. We started with walleyes today. We actually got into some smallmouth. Played with those for a while, now we're back to walleyes. So I mean, Dogtooth is well known for beautiful walleyes like this and nice smallmouth. So you can get, a lot of times, they're in the same areas. So found this mid-lake hump, came back another one of these beauties. Let's get her back in the water and catch another one. There we go. Come on down. There she goes. I think we're on a little bit of a program here. We're just checking out a lot. We started out checking out just a bunch of different spots. The beauty of having your own boat up here is you, you got your electronics. You know, these, these boats are basically our office. We got all the rods we want, all of our tackle. We can bring everything but the, kit, but the kitchen sink. So we can go find a bunch of spots, mark them, come back, and, and just do a lot of uh, investigating, investigating work, if you will, and just try to find these spots, come back, and uh, pretty much tear the lake apart. Got him. There you go. There you go. Ooh, oh, Ty. <laughs> Ty. Do I need to get up here? 26 incher. <laughs> 26 He's incher. It. Oh, she's a good one. Down. Oh, I, feel, I just love when I feel it. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, look at that. Ooh, she got she just got mad. Huh? Saw the boat. Can I go 26 and a half inch? Uh, you can call whatever you want. <laughs> All I know is she's she's a gooder one. <laughs> Do I need a bigger net, you think? Or? All I know is we're here to, to the magic number on all of these lakes here is 30 inches. You know, in this lake produces them. 
Yeah, you know, there ain't a lot, you know, there really ain't a lot of lakes that you can get 30 inch walleyes. There's a lot of them that you got fish up to 28. But this baby is one of those lakes that's got a monster. Maybe this is it. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is she's, she's big. She's big. Well, we found a reef that, oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, she's a good one, Al. Now she ain't a monster, but oh, she, she ain't a, thick, a monster, though. but boy, she's tough. She's thick. Oh yeah. I oh, might yeah. have got your 26. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, man. Are they tough in this warm water? Look, Look at that, that, baby, huh? It's a dandy. I'm, I'm moving on up. I'm on my way, heading, <laughs> heading up, up, up toward a 30-inch a mark. <laughs> we got a few more days to see if we get there. The thing is, though, we, have not, a, we have not caught a small walleye yet. No. You well, that's why you yet. come here. These are, are, are why you come here. Well, a big part, do a quick measure on that one. One big part of it too, as we do that, Al, is that I mean, it's just, it's it's the management of this lake. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Yep, I got you it. You can tell them about the management <laughs> while I retie. You know they are so thick, Al. You think that would be 26, but it's just a shy over 25. It is. Yep, but a beautiful fish nonetheless. Are they ever heavy? There's an Al fish right there. She is a beauty. They're all big, and like we were talking about management. They manage this lake so well. I mean, you can't you can't keep you keep one fish under 18. I think it's 18.1 inches, and you keep one over. And they don't really want you to keep any really over 20 inches because those are really the spawning fish. And as you can tell, here at Dog Tooth Resort, it's really working. Let's get her back in real quick. There we go. There she goes. This segment is brought to you by Go Fish Ontario Canada. There we go. They're all nice out yes. here. It's just crazy. We are spot locked. We uh, decided to come back to a spot. Well, that's a good one though, right there. That's a good one. Good one? That's a good one. Like the mother? Oh yeah. That's a good one. Oh good yeah. One. They're all good though. They're all good out here. Look at that. We'll take her. Look at that. Man, these walleyes on dog tooth are all just we have not caught a small fish yet, Al. No, I know. This is Do crazy. I he said they're all, you know, rarely. That's the management oh. philosophy. Oh, totally. Totally management. All these fish, I mean, there's just so many spots out here. Look at that. Uh -huh. Just another beautiful, healthy walleye. Dogtooth Lake is full of them. We're having so much fun out here. Look at that. She crushed it too. She yeah. absolutely crushed it. She's using jigs and paddle tails. They're pretty much the main main technique out here, but uh, let me get her back in real quick. There we go, girl, there she goes. Swim away to catch another day. This is, like I was saying, this is all I've been using. Al's been using this and, and, a, and a, you know, jig and wrap is another technique. Hair jigs, these are all good techniques on these we're just fishing deep reefs, and uh, this lake has so many spots. This is actually, it's about a 6,200 acre lake, but it's super narrow. I mean, you could, you don't have to worry about wind when you come up here, rain, you could get behind different spots. There's so many points, islands or whatever, but it's a cool lake because you can sit there and hit a different spot. Probably, what, do you, what would you say, Al, 20, 30 spots in a day? And a lot of these big, we're fishing these real deep humps. We haven't went up into the shallow ones yet, the weed spots. And a lot of these fish, these humps, they're replenishing themselves. And a lot of these big walleyes are suspended out in some of these deep areas. And they intermittently get tired of wandering out in space looking for a smelt and decide to come, come into the reefs. Yeah, 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 you know, and you just pull on one reef, you got a pot of fish there, and it just happened. Boom, boom, boom. And it, I think when you're there, it's not a grind. They're, they're eating. Yeah, you know, they, they are eating, man. Got him. There you go. Just another. Just another. Typical. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, there you go. Beautiful fish, yeah. Al. I love the look on these things. Oh, they got the right demeanor. Look at, and I also like the way they eat that jig. <laughs> <laughs> when it's down their throat, I, I mean, it's Gonsville. Gonsville. <laughs> Beautiful fish. 
real dark, dark, dark fish. Yeah. Look at that mouth. That fish was caught some time before. Probably the way it's ripped and released, it was probably on a crankbait. <laughs> <laughs> this time she wanted a jig. <laughs> Did you know Dogtooth Lake and nearby waters are also home to monster lake trout, splake, northern pike, and crappies? Hey, but first let's take a look at some of the walleyes Dogtooth has produced over the years. At 17 pounds, three ounces, their resort record is an absolute beast. And get a look at these five walleyes, which total 64 pounds. And the smallmouth bass fishing is good with lots of fish, caught in the 20 plus inch range. Here's the Dogtooth Lake Resort record lake trout. A jumbo 40 inches, 25 pounds, caught in 2003. And this one is interesting to me. A record 12 and 3 quarter pound splake. Now those are some big fish. Pike grow big, like this 50 incher. And did somebody say crappies? Dogtooth's got them and some giants. Look at this slab 16 incher. The moral of the story is simple. If big fish of all kinds are on your bucket list, better take a closer look at Dog Tooth Lake Resort. There we go. Got him? Yep. There we go. Jigging wrap. Just threw it on. Just jigging try it. wrap? Yeah, you bet. Oh, you know what? I, I feel so confident. I'm gonna You're even going to net the, my fish for me? I am going to get this one, I'm going to get the <laughs> net on. Well, because you've been promising. I think, I think this is a horse, too. Yeah, it looks like a horse. <laughs> you've been promising me that. that if we get one big one in here, ooh, like that. Ooh, 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 Bubba. That is a whopper. That's a... That's all, that only big ones bite on jig and rats. <laughs> they said that uh, dog tooth is a place where you come to get your personal best. <laughs> it's got a stretch <laughs> to get your personal best. I know what your personal <laughs> best is. <laughs> That'd be a stretch, although this is, this is a big fish. I'll tell you what, this is a big, this big, is a big, big fish. fish. Big, big, big fish. <laughs> this, we were just talking about that we're on a huge, massive structure out that breaks into 100 feet, feet of water. And, it, and we got on a very tip of this thing. I came off at the lake isn't mapped. And I looked and I said, man, this is, this is a classic mega big fish spot. Yeah, you know, we're, we fish some other stuff, all of a sudden, uh, there's got to be a big gal here. This is, this, this is, is it. This is it. She's That's a, a big girl. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the one we were waiting for. Oh, and look what happened. Look at the hook Look what happened. It's exactly what I'm talking about. Those little sharp hooks, they pop oh. out more times than not. Well, here, get the fish out. I'll work on, on a wrap. Wrap, show everybody that monster. Look at this. Look at this girl. This is what you come to dog oh, tooth God. for. <laughs> Look at the size of that girl. She is a horse. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This is why people come to dog tooth for big walleyes and personal bests. I don't know if this is my personal best, but it's right up there. No, it's, I know what your personal just, best, best, just, best is. And, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave it at too many this people is a are giant gonna have. <laughs> this is a giant That's a biggie. Lie. That's a biggie. That's Whoa. a big gal, man. You know, I tell you what, the intel we had coming up here was you're gonna run into a, a lot of four, five, six pound walleyes, and you're gonna run into walleyes just like this. This is what you come up here for. If you're coming up here to, to fill your freezer, you know what, you're gonna catch some eater sized walleyes, but Dog Tooth Lake Resort is the place to come up. And get big, big horses like this one. That is awesome. I'm gonna get a quick photo of her and put her back in the water. Besides a getaway for serious fish heads, Dogtooth Lake Resort is also the perfect place for a family vacation with all sorts of on and off the water recreation. Their cabins are fully modern with all the amenities needed for a great trip. The staff is beyond friendly and accommodating, and the surroundings couldn't be more beautiful. Got him, got him. Better wrap fish. That is a rapper fish. Jig and wrap. Looking pretty good. Do I have to come back to net this one or not? I, <laughs> I think so. Well, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Oh, yeah. There she goes. <laughs>
<laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You were right, Al. You were right by oh, saying there's got to oh. be one big walleye oh. in this oh. on this whole pack oh. in this bay. <laughs> there's two on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like another monster. Another. I thought we were gonna stop one more time <laughs> before we went in. She wasn't getting off, I don't think. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Get yourself. There we go. Uh. <laughs> one more for the on the road back to the cabin. Oh man. <laughs> Al just said, hey, one more spot. <laughs> one more spot. This spot's one gotta have a big this... big wall though on it, right? That's, they're all big. <laughs> it's just a tank. She's lively. She wants to go back. That wrap is working there better than anything else. You tell you what, if you don't bring a bunch of these along when you're fishing big, big Waldos, you are making a big mistake. Jigging wraps and big walleyes go hand in hand. <laughs> that was proof right there.